So here we are looking at the uh, 1516 Burton Traverse uh, carry-on backpack. And I'm just a sucker for these kind of backpacks because, um, you know, it just allows me to carry my regular day clothes um, in this pack and whatever else I need. Carry a snowboard bag or uh, other bags, you know, in my hand. And so it just, you know, it's a nice combo instead of having like a wheelie bag. And I love carry-on bags. I don't know, the size just works for me. And so, um, you know, I just decided to give this thing a try. And let's go over some of the features. First off, on the outside, you have three big compartments, medium-sized compartments, but they're deeper than you would think. Um, and uh, this one's the biggest. And you can see it goes to about right here. Uh, so you've got a few inches, um, you know, and it can retract and compact, but then, you know, you have this, this, and this. This could hold shoes if you wanted to. Uh, this could hold your toiletries or something else, or, you know, this could too. So there's some deep bags there, which I, I find cool for some things, but not really for clothes or anything else like that. Then the backpack folds open like this. So it just comes down like this. And then you have a uh, mesh zippered compartment for the main body. And you can see it's um, somewhat thick. So you can actually put a decent amount of clothing in here. Um, I found that uh, it works pretty well. I don't, haven't really found something for this mesh, maybe for toiletries or something like that. But I'm usually laying out, you know, like socks, underwear, uh, shirts, and then pants and putting it all right there and then, you know, zipping it up. And then on this side, you have a big long bag here, um, you know, inside. So there are just lots of little compartments. And um, I put shoes in here. And then, um, you know, another thing maybe for toiletries or something else. And so um, you really don't have much on this side except for little things like, you know, um, you could put socks or um, shoes or something in there, but it just, it doesn't really pack up. Like if you have a lot of shirts and a lot of pants, underwear and socks, um, underwear and socks go in there, but it just doesn't, you just don't have this, um, you know, it just feels like it packs smaller than its size. And I'll show you what I'm comparing it to. This is probably one of my favorite. This is the Dekine in-flight bag. And, um, as you can see, there's two really large compartments that are just nice and square that allow you to put a ton of stuff on one side and a ton of stuff on the other and then there's you know um, only uh, just a few small compartments on the front that I just use for you know like cell phone charger stuff you know um, like a little uh, thing I stick in there that holds a bunch of computer stuff and then you know you have the laptop compartment there. So I find this a much better bag for like volume packing, especially with a lot of clothing. But um, I really like this Burton Traverse uh, for uh, smaller trips, you know, a little overnight or little two day trips or three day trips. Uh, I find this just, this kills it. Love the water and coffee holder, for me at least, on the sides. Also, um, you know, there's a pretty nice laptop compartment. You just slide it in there and, um, you know, it's, it's very low profile. You've got a nice, you know, padded back. So it's easy for uh, long travel. It's easy on your back and, um, you know, uh, it's got a waist, you know, waist belt. It's got, you know, your typical thing here. So all in all, and a nice, nice handle. So all in all, the Birth and Traverse Travel Pack uh, isn't going to be my primary, but it's definitely going to be, you know, my couple day adventure pack. Um, the Dekine in-flight, this is going to be the one when I go on long travels and I have a lot I need to put in there. Uh, this is going to be the pack for me. However, short trips and what have you, uh, the Burton Traverse Pack is a great choice. And especially love the water bottles on each side. That's uh, that's huge for me.